Hello everyone, this is Weezak7 of Weezak Games. I am here showcasing how to set up a test game on Roll20 for those of you who are helping me playtest my new card game. Um, there is more information on that in an upcoming video where I will talk a bit about the card game itself as well as um, what I'll be doing with my channel in the near future. Uh, so first thing you want to do is go to roll20.net and make an account, which is free, but you still have to do it. Um, once you're there, you want to go to games, and you can click start new game, and we'll just name this game Rift Wars Testing, Then create the game, and it's going to load here for a minute. And we're going to want to zoom out to about 40%, or 30% gives us a good view. Now, the standard Rift Wars uh, grid is going to be a 20 by 20 uh, tile, squares, tiles. So we'll make an extra thick black border around that to delineate where that is. If you hold Shift, it'll lock it to the grid for you, and we'll start with... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oops. I think I twitched at the end there. Well, anyway, I'm not going to... We'll pretend that that's square. I'm not going to... And then you want to take that, double-click that, with the select move, and you're going to want to click here and move that to the background. Oh, no, I did that wrong. You're going to want to right click and move it to the background, to the map layer. That will prevent you from accidentally moving it while you're playing. The next thing you're going to want to do is upload things to your art library, which if you click this tab here and the little star will bring up your library. As you can see, I've uploaded most of the images I've included with the um, files that I give you, the minion token, the hero token, and all six tiles. But there is one more thing that we're missing. So if we click Upload and choose a file, choose a file, we will go out to the Rift symbol. And that's going to process. And boom, there it is. So we can go back to our library. Let's get these things out on the board because we'll want ready access to these when we play. I'm going to zoom in a bit here to 50. For right now, let's just set these out of the way. Because these are on the objects and tokens layer, you can drag them around. And if you want to make a copy of them, it's simple as selecting it, and then Control-C, Control-V. Boom, copied. You can double-click on it to change who controls it. You can add in hit points and whatever else you want in these three bars. Now, the riffs are two by three, so we'll stretch this out. You're going to want to get these approximately centered. I'm not going to stress out about having them perfectly centered right now, but you're going to want to have them about centered. You can even set something like, you know, have your rift points there, so you can see a full bar of rift points. The next thing you want to do is get your deck. So go over here to decks and add. And then we're going to double click this, change this to, let's say, Jeremy Marauders. Uh, we want to keep these checked. We do want D GM and players to choose by looking at the front. We want to show fronts on the discard pile. We want to play facing down. You can flip it once it's played by right clicking on it. Um, we want it to be tokens so that we can keep track of stats and stuff on the cards that are in play. And we're going to then choose a card backing, which will do the Marauders back. 
And the downside to roll 20 is that you have to upload each individual card. So if I wanted to ancestral spirit, if I wanted to add in, let's say, two ancestral spirits, you have to do that twice. So we upload the thing. And there it is. But if I want to have more than one of that, then we have to do it again. Which is the big downside to this, because that means you essentially have to upload each of the 60 cards individually. So we'll just save this for right now. And then you click on show. And you can see the deck right down here. You can deal cards to players. You can choose a card from the deck. You can recall cards that are in the in players' hands on the table and in the discard pile. Back to the deck. You could shuffle the deck. You hide it. And you can access the discard, which there isn't any. But, for example, we will draw. We'll take a card from there. It's not letting me take a card. Let me zoom in a little bit and see if that... Hmm... Well, shoot, I don't know why it's not letting me draw cards. So shuffle. There we go, we shuffle it first. And as you can see, we can drag a card right onto the thing, and as you can see, it plays face down. You can right-click and flip it. You can right-click and take it into your hand, which is then up, displayed up here. And you can drag from your hand to the table. You can delete it. It'll send it to the discard pile. And... That's basically it. So we recall all. Discard pile. Oh, discard pile you're going to have to drag out of the table and then recall. So that's basically it. Um, so once you've got this set up, you can copy this link if you're the game master. Send it to everybody else that you want to join in the game with you. Um, that You will have to upload everyone's deck which is the another downside to this. So they'll have to send you their image files and the list of what they want. Um, but you can just copy and paste this, and other than they'll come right in, and you can go from there. Um, there are tutorial videos on the website about how to use the, the site itself. Um, that's a bit beyond the scope of my tutorial here, but it's not very complicated. I feel like you guys can probably figure it out. Um... So yeah, that basically summarizes this up. So with all this information, you should be you should be ready to go. Um, so yeah, please go ahead, do some play testing. Let me know what you think. Um, ping me in YouTube comments, Facebook, text me. Since right now the only people doing this play testing are people who know me personally. In the near future, I will probably open this up more to random people if anyone watching this on youtube is like oh god that game sounds really fun but obviously this video does not describe how to play the game so not many people are going to say that based on this video but i am definitely not ruling out the possibility of including um strangers in my play testing so i am going to call that a quits for right now um, look forward in the near future to more videos about the game. Um, and thank you for watching.